Alright, welcome back to the next part of a Lord English we will say and I mean I am here at the exercise number five and we have read the instructions and also we have read through the answers. Okay? So now you will listen and then you will circle the one of the four answers they given in each each questions, okay? Let's listen carefully then choose. Poppy Day is the day when people in Britain and other countries commemorate the soldiers who died for their country in two world wars and later conflicts. It's on the 11th of November every year, because World War I officially ended on the 11th of November 1918. Every year at exactly 11 o'clock in the morning, there is a two-minute silence. This tradition began in 1919, one year after the end of World War I, when there was a two-minute silence in London. It was a chance for everybody to stop what they were doing and remember the people who had died. This is how one British newspaper described the event. At exactly 11 o'clock, all the cars, trams and other vehicles stopped. Everyone stood very still. The silence became deeper. It spread over the whole city. It was a silence which was almost pain. It was the spirit of memory. John McRae was a Canadian doctor who fought as an officer in World War I. He saw terrible things during that time. There were sometimes hundreds of casualties in one day. Thousands and thousands of young soldiers fought and died in the muddy, wet fields of Flanders, a part of Belgium. In those same muddy fields, red flowers grew, poppies. McRae imagined that the poppies were growing there to mark the places where young men had died. He found the sight of the poppies very moving and wrote a poem about them. In the poem, we hear the dead soldiers speak. It begins with this line. In Flanders fields the poppies blow, between the crosses, row on row. John McRae died in battle in 1918. An American woman called Moira Michael read his poem and bought some poppies. She wore one of them and sold the others. She gave the money to ex-soldiers in the United States. Other people copied the idea. They made poppies out of paper and sold them to raise money for ex-soldiers and the families of soldiers who had died. Selling poppies became a tradition which spread from country to country. Today, poppies are sold in many countries around the world. When people buy and wear poppies, they are remembering all the soldiers who fought and died in World War I between 1914 and 1918, and in later wars. And although World War I happened about a hundred years ago, people do still remember. In the UK alone, about 40 million poppies are sold each year. All right. We have listened to the. We have listened to the uh, tape, to the audio program, a uh, co uh, program, speaking about the beginning of the eleventh uh, of November. That is a uh, poppy day to um, remember the 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 soldiers who have died. Okay, so now we will uh, find the answers in the which one of those will be a correct answer, which one of the four answers will be a correct answer. So we'll do it now. Number one, on the 11th November, people remember what? Is it A, B, C, or D? So let's listen. Okay, this time. We will listen and then we will pause for the answer to prove that the answer is in the tape. 2C. Exercise 5. Poppy Day is the day when people in Britain and other countries 
commemorate the soldiers who died for their country in two world wars and later conflicts. Okay. Okay, again. And other countries commemorate the soldiers who day is the day when it's fine. Poppy Day is the day when people in Britain and other countries commemorate the soldiers who died for their country. Mm, commemorate the soldiers who have died for the country and also what? In two world wars. In two world wars. So it's said right there. Since the start of the World War One, in the line of line letter B. Since the start of the World War One. So for the two world wars. They started to be. They started and begin this um, day to commemorate the soldiers who have died in the two world wars, and also and later conflicts. And later conflicts, yes, and all major conflicts. So we'll choose B for an answer to question number one. On the 11th November, people remember the soldiers who have died in all major conflicts since the start of the World War One. We'll choose B. Number two. It's on the 11th of November every year because World War One. If we found the answer, we will go through. Okay. Tradition began in 1919. Okay. One year after the end of World War One. When there was a two-minute silence in London. Okay, two-minute silence in London. Okay, so this is the question number two. According to one British newspaper, one British newspaper. Okay, carefully. One British newspaper said what about the first two-minute silence in London? It was a chance for everybody to stop what they were doing. And remember the people who had died. So in the country, they stop. They stop what they are doing. Even when they are okay. Even then, when they are going the, to the toilet, they they have to stop. But not really. But but not that kind of bad. Maybe it's just it's just like this. They uh, they were riding down the street, okay? Riding cars, riding motorbikes. No, not really, because in the city, maybe not. They are walking. They are playing. They are chatting. But when they hear, when they what, when they know that it is the time for two minutes silence, they all stop. Stop. When do they stop? This is how one British newspaper described the event. Okay. That's exactly eleven o'clock. It is exactly at eleven o'clock. So it it was begin at eleven o'clock. So A finish at exactly one eleven o'clock. Wrong. B cause vehicles to stop, but not pedestrians. That is wrong either. Because it said all oh, everything stopped, even the pedestrians or the vehicles stopped. C only involved a P. A uh, few people in the center of the city. It is also wrong because it is said the whole city, the whole people, the whole citizens. What they are doing, they don't care. They have to stop when the uh, when the traditional uh, day commemorate day begins. They have to stop what they are doing, even when they are doing. Even when they are really busy, then they have to do it now. But they have to stop to commemorate the soldiers who have passed away at the World War One since the World War One, and also some of major conflicts. So, D took place over an entire city. It is for the answer to number two. Two D. Okay, we'll be right back. To finish the exercise number five on page number sixty, don't go anywhere.